Hey guys, it's Sweetie here and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a Kitty K and Honey Licious from the LOL Surprise OMG Remix series that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing. Not long ago I reviewed the Pop BB doll from the Remix series. I've mentioned a few times that I really wanted Kitty K and guys, I actually finally found her. I went to Kmart to pick up a Honey Licious doll and Kitty K was there. So I'm very excited to be reviewing both of these dolls because I think both of them are so adorable and I'm really liking the OMG Remix line. I think it might be my favorite LOL line to be honest. I'm not a big fan of too many LOL dolls but for some reason I really like the Remix dolls. Although I don't think I'll be getting Lone Star because I don't really like her that much but I like the other three. So yeah, like I said, I found these dolls at Kmart in New Zealand. Kmart also has them for the cheapest. There are 50 New Zealand dollars each there. Ever else they're about 60 to 70 New Zealand dollars so they are quite expensive dolls so definitely try to find them at Kmart if you can because they are a lot better of a price there so yeah I'm really excited uh let's start with Kitty K because I've been waiting so long to get her and I'm just very excited to see what she looks like so as always the boxes of these remix dolls really do stand out compared to a lot of other toys and I think the designs are really cool we've got her little sister on the side here who looks pretty cute here's Kitty K's record thing um, it's kind of a see-through color. I did notice that uh, in the light you can actually see there's some rainbow glitter like embedded into the plastic. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I really could see it a lot better when I was outside and the sun was shining on it. But yeah, these uh, boxes do turn into like a cardboard record player and they do actually play music. So we'll do that after. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, her hair is a little messy though. I just realized I opened this like completely wrong. But that's alright. <laughs> she Kitty K here, she looks really cool. Oh, and the picture of Pop BB here because if you didn't know, each doll comes with an extra outfit which is actually for a different doll. So Kitty K comes with uh, one of Pop BB's outfit and Pop BB came with um, one of Kitty K's outfit. Also, there's surprises in here so don't forget to take those out. Here's Kitty K, she's absolutely so pretty. I love her hair so much. It is very very soft it has like a bit of like tinsel in it so it's a bit sparkly and it looks very cool it's kind of this like cool um like kind of light purple silvery color and it, it's really unique actually and the tinsel also looks very good because it's like not too much of it so it actually looks really nice i feel like sometimes tinsel can look really bad and dull here but I think it looks super cool in this doll. These parts are very stiff. They have some kind of gel in it, so I'll probably wash those out because I don't really like it being stiff. Also, this part has a really extra long bit for some reason, so that's weird. So her top, honestly, doesn't look very good. I, I love the top, don't get me wrong, but like, it's cut very weirdly. Can you see? Like, it looks very uneven. And there's a lot of loose threads on it. It also looks like it's too big for her. It, you see what I mean? It's like, it looks like it's way too big for her. Which is a shame because I think her top is so adorable and I love the holographic look about it. I think it looks awesome. It's a shame there's just, just so many loose threads. It looks like, it doesn't look like they did a very good job. She does have some sparkly eye makeup under her bangs. You can't really see it all very well. And also her lips are sparkly too. That's very cool. I love the brown eyes too. I feel like brown eyes honestly looks better than like, you know, crazy colored eyes, like pink or purple eyes. I just kind of prefer the more natural colored eyes in a lot of dolls because I feel like we get too many dolls where their eyes are like purple and pink and it's just, it's a bit much. So I actually really love that they gave her natural brown eyes. I think it looks really cool. She has these, they look kind of like piercings or like beauty spots, honestly. From what I've heard is that the doll is based off Ariana Grande. The thing is, I don't really know anything about Ariana Grande. I'm really bad when it comes to celebrities. Why has she got this stuck in her arm? Get out. The thing is, I'm really bad when it comes to celebrities. I don't really know much about, like, celebrities. I don't really follow any or care about any. <laughs> I have heard a lot of people say that this doll is very based off Ariana Grande. So I think they're either meant to be like dimples or beauty spots but they also kind of look like piercings which is also kind of cool. Do we have any like dolls with piercings? Why is there no dolls with piercings? Well obviously ear piercings but like Oh, the face piercings. I feel like that would be so cool. So, oh, she has a ring on too. Oh my goodness. This just reminds me of like Ever After High and like Monster High dolls. You don't see a lot of dolls with that kind of detail anymore, but she has this really cute ring. Her nails are also painted a kind of 
It's kind of like just a sparkly clear color. Oh my god, I love her hair so much. Got her snap knees, which is... It's cool, yeah, it's better than nothing. She does just have a plain white stand. She does come with a pink uh, brush though, a very hot pink brush. Hair toss, my chick, meow. You know, I always really hate the quotes on these, it's always a bit cringe. My BBs slay all day. <sighs> Are these her shoes? No, this is something else, what is this? Oh, she comes with glasses, which you cannot see out of, so that those decoration glasses. These are really cute. They remind me of the cat headphones, but it's just a headband. She comes with a microphone, which is very cool. I love that she comes with a microphone. These are her things that go over her shoes, I guess. Yeah, these are her earrings. They're kind of basic, to be honest. They do have that same kind of slight rainbow effect that I don't even know if you can see it on camera. This is her shoe box. She comes with these heels, which are very cute, and they do have that same effect on it. You know, they're fairly basic, but I feel like that makes sense, because our outfit is very, very over the top. So these are the bags we have. Let's open them up. Okay, this is really cool. So this is kind of like, I don't, what do you even call this? It's like a kind of cape sort of thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really cute. I actually really love the like flowiness of it. So she comes with another skirt. This is sort of a pink kind of glittery color. I don't really get it. Oh, cause it goes like that. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is the other outfit she comes with, which is actually for Pop BB. So yeah, definitely can't see Kitty K wearing that, but she does come with this outfit. It's, uh, you know, it's alright, I guess. I mean, I probably won't pop my pop baby in it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's an outfit. Honestly, I don't really like the idea that they come with an outfit for a different doll. I find that really annoying. I get why they do it, to sell more dolls, but like, when the dolls cost 50 to 70 New Zealand dollars here, it's a lot of money to buy more than one doll. Like, buying two dolls, is at least a hundred dollars but I do have her hoodie because I did get pop BB so this is her hoodie that came with pop BB but it's for kitty K so yeah this hoodie is very cute by the way I absolutely love it I might put her in the hoodie first to see what she looks like and then we'll put her in her actual outfit so here's kitty K with the hoodie on it looks so cute on her yeah this is super adorable it's definitely nice for like a casual outfit for her it's really cute so now let's put on her main outfit okay so here's kitty K with most of her outfit on. <laughs> I honestly, I like it without the the boot things. I will put these on soon to see what they look like. But I honestly think I like them more without them. The thing with like the headband and the glasses, if you're trying to put them on um, at the same time, it really does not like work properly. Like the headband's kind of like floating there and it won't stay properly. The glasses look a bit much and they also don't cover her eyes. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those off because they're annoying me. Yeah, the headband is really weird. It just doesn't really stay properly. It keeps kind of falling down, which is really annoying me. It's because of her pigtails are kind of in the way of it. It just doesn't really stay properly. I feel like her pigtails need to be a bit back a bit. Well, one of them's also higher than the other, which is also annoying me. Can you see, like, this one's, like, way higher. But she's got her earrings on. They're really cute. This one kind of goes around her whole ear, which is cool. I love this cape thing. It's very cool. And the skirt thing that kind of a skirt but kind of not a skirt. I think it's really cool but it does have a bend here which is really annoying me because it keeps it just like won't stay down. Also her hair is like very heavy so if you kind of go like that she just kind of falls. So here are the leg... what are these called? Leg boots. Where did my microphone go? Leg covers. I don't know. I don't know what these are. They're pretty cute. I mean I just feel like her high heels look really nice and then you're kind of hiding them. Also, like, the microphone looks so cool. I love the look of it. It looks kind of like it's a diamondy shape. Oh, and, oh my god, I didn't even notice that. It says meow on the handle. That is really cool. That is some detail right there. Yeah, I think she looks really cool. The main thing that, like, bothers me is the headband, how it doesn't stay properly. And also, she keeps kind of falling off her stand a wee bit because she is a bit heavy. But this still looks like a great doll. I, I think she looks awesome. I should probably do this to show you guys what it does and to make sure it works. Uh, I can't play the whole song because they do get copyrighted. But I'll play a little bit for you guys.
Honestly, I cannot understand a thing she is saying in that song. It is not a bad song though. It does get stuck in your head, even though you don't know the words, but you just kind of, you got the tune stuck in your head. Also, if you're like me and you don't have space to like keep the whole box and stuff, you can just rip out the, uh, the sound thing here. That's what I did with my other one. I just ripped it out so I could keep the little uh, sound thing because I really do not have space to keep the boxes for all of these dolls. But I still think it's an awesome idea that they make the box an actual playset. So let's open Honeylicious. I think she looks really cool. I love her braided hair. I think it is so cool. I don't have any dolls that have this kind of hair, so I'm really excited to see what it feels like. Here's her little record. It is a bright pink. Here she is, and here's her little quote. Oh, there's actually different shades of pink, too. I didn't even realize that. Oh my god, is that a freaking queen reference? Is that, is that supposed to be Freddie Mercury? Oh my gosh, my arms hurt from doing this. I'm glad these dolls are easier to open than Rainbow High dolls, but still, it can be a lot of sometimes. Here is Honeylicious. She is so cute. I love her hair so much. It feels so cool. Whoa, what is this? What is happening here? What is this about? Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but somehow this is a thing. So it's got a darker shade of pink and a lighter shade of pink in her hair, which I think looks pretty cool. These long bits are a bit weird, how they're just kind of at the front. But I guess you're kind of supposed to put it behind her. Blue makeup, that's an interesting look, I guess. What is that? She's got a big thing in her head. It's like, is it like a clump of glue? Maybe I can pick it off. Hmm, I don't know, but that's annoying me. Her eyes are kind of like a natural green, which actually look quite nice, and they do match her Minecraft looking top. <laughs> and she's got little freckles that are so cute. She's got a pink stand and a golden brush, which I would probably Oh, I mean, you can you can brush it gently, but I would be very worried about it ruining these little tiny plaits, so I probably wouldn't do that. Also, you can see some blush in her face, which is really cute. I don't think Kitty K has that. She might have a little bit of blush, but I feel like it's more noticeable on this doll. What's in this one? Ooh, she's a Oh, it's sunglasses. No! I thought it was a hat and it's sunglasses. God damn it. Oh, come on. They just, they never look good. They never look good. Um, she comes with a laptop. That's cool. Ooh, oh, it's kind of, it's not really a laptop. It's like DJ thing, sound effects thing. What do you call this? I don't know, but it's very cool. Synthesizer maybe? Oh, they kind of look like, they kind of look like AirPods, but like, earrings. <laughs> Why that woman who thinks that? You know what I mean? She has a blue bracelet and these arm sleeves. The shoe box is blue. Oh yes, I love her shoes. These are awesome. I love these shoes so much. I think they really suit her too. They look so cool. Let's open up her surprise bags. So she comes with a denim jacket which looks really cool. I love all the detail on it. It's got remix. It's got all kinds of stuff. World, vibe. That's really cool. Oh, she's got a big hood too, which I maybe could fit over her head. I mean, without her hair. If her hair wasn't there, it might fit over her head. Okay, so this is the outfit that I believe is actually for Lone Star. I think it might go with the arm sleeves too. But honestly, I think this would look super cute on, uh, what's her name again? Honeylicious. <laughs> yeah, I think that would actually suit her, to be honest. So I'm still gonna try that, because I don't really want to get Lone Star. And this is her, the rest of her outfit. Comes with these pants, got, um, like a belt thing, these strap things. It's got a cool chain off it. I don't know if I like that outfit, to be honest. <laughs> Very Minecraft looking pattern, though. But yeah, we'll try the outfit first and see what I think, and then we'll try the, the second outfit that's for Lone Star. So here is Honeylicious in her main outfit. I do like it, I mainly just don't really like the style of these pants, I don't really like the big uh, thing at the end, and also it covers her shoes, and her shoes are so cute, like why would you want to hide these? Honestly, I think I would like them more if they were just like, like this. Like, kind of baggy, but like, you know. This looks so much better, honestly, what the heck? Honestly, I might like sew them to make them like, these cool little like baggy style pants. Um, she has a, kind of the same thing with Kitty K with like her hair is very heavy so she does keep kind of leaning back which is a bit annoying. Also, the bracelet is actually a watch. I didn't really look close enough at it last time but that's actually a watch which I think is so much better. The earrings are very cute. 
she looks very cool. I'm considering like taking out the big plaits. I think that would look kind of cool. So maybe I'll do that too. But I do want to try on this outfit. It is for Lone Star, like I said. But I want to see what it looks like on Honeylicious because I think it might look pretty cute actually. Oh, I forgot about her sunglasses too. We should probably try these a bit more. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what's why they thought this looks good because it doesn't even sit on her face <laughs> it doesn't even sit on her face properly like also i forgot to tell you guys when i was putting on her pants this little thing came off her belt it's supposed to be like in the middle of her belt there it just popped off so easily that's a bit annoying i can just glue it back on but i need to try not to lose it okay here is honeylicious in the other outfit which is for lone star supposedly oh and also i took her braids out the big braids and honestly i like it so much more like this i think it looks really cute maybe i'll even braid them like again but like small you know what i mean like like th maybe three braids but yeah honestly i like this outfit more we can see her shoes and i think it's really cute so yeah i think they both look super adorable i really love these two these might be the last lol omg dolls that i'll review for a while because there aren't really any more that i like to be honest i mean apart from downtown deep and i don't really like any of the new dance dance line dolls i really don't like them honestly it's kind of controversial i feel like everyone likes them but i really i don't like any of them not gonna lie i feel like all their outfits are so over the top that like it doesn't even make sense anymore but i think these dolls are very cool i think the remix dolls are definitely my favorite thank you guys so much for watching feel free to do some other things you'd like to see me review on this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye I just realized I almost forgot to show you guys the- oh god, I can't do this. I'm really tired right now, like, give me a chance. I have to do it properly or I'm a failure. Get on there. Get on there. Fuck. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna spit it. Don't try to pay. Oh no, we might do the show.